welcome to fmtraining.tv. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. Welcome. Good to see you all. Hello, Nick. How you doing? Hello, Marge. How are you today? Pretty good, thank you. So we're here to talk about FileMaker, which is an amazing platform. Uh, I'm here with Nick today, and as you are, many who have watched are well aware, but if you're new, you're not. Nick is a great at taking FileMaker and working solely within FileMaker and really taking the platform to its absolute limits. Uh, and the limits which, which might be surprising to some people. Uh, we do do this five days a week, pretty much. We have a new topic Monday through, uh, well, new... We have series, but essentially we have a new discussion going on uh, Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. PST Pacific uh, Standard Time. Uh, today we're doing Web Direct. We're finishing up our Web Direct series this Tuesday, Wednesday. We're doing day 13, probably day 14. Uh, if you would like basically to support the channel, it's greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. There's three options. Basically, it's 100 plus hours of video content. I know that our live stream training doesn't work for everyone. Or even if you do like our live stream training, sometimes you want to tackle a very specific topic and get a very straight answer. Uh, this is what this is for. We cover pretty much everything about FileMaker under the sun to get you to a very competent level of development. Um, there's three options. Pick what option is best for you. If you've bought it already, thank you very much. It means a lot. All right. Cool. Nick, what are we doing today? So um, yesterday we were talking about uh, this uh, navigation system that um, it works very well on WebDirect and also on the on the, on all platform that works with a single screen, <laughs> a single window, right? So WebDirect is one of it, right? iPhone, iPad is another. Two, the other two platform where we have or uh, we have only one window. Okay, so the, there's one one window one window at a time, so it's not like multi window like you know on the desktop, right? So the technique I show you it works very well for web direct and of course for you know iPhone and iPad, which will be extremely handy uh, when we will do that uh, next week um, because it helps uh, make the thing much simpler. Single uh, a single step script, a script right? A single step button. Uh, go to both new window bum. Okay. So and uh, and yesterday I promised you that I will come in with a solution about what we were talking about. So uh, there here let's say um, I'm here in contact. Then I open this and then I go here and estimate. So now I have free window open. Right. So we have this nice. We have this nice uh, um, window names feature, which is our, our native FileMaker stuff. So we have this in order of appearance, okay? And uh, so it's in order of appearance. So we have this list, right? But our, we wanted to have something cool, but we need to uh, we need to reverse that list if I want to do something like this, right? If I want to do something like this, transform this into this. If I do, it's wrong. Estimate contact account, it needs to be reversed, right? So I need to reverse that list. Well, I finally, I, I, I mean, I didn't find the file where I want to do that, so I did, I did it again. And I modernized it so because I remember that it was using our old technique, and uh, so I did a new one, right? And I did a nice uh, custom function for you. So if I do this, this is reversed. This is the this is the original, or uh, you know, the original is. Let's do this. The original was this. This is what window name gets. And if I pass this throughout this custom function, it reverse. So anything, anything you have, anything you have, if you have a list like this, okay, uh, if you have any kind of list, uh, if you have this like this, boom, is reversed, right? If you have a list of names, uh, first Nick, then you have Marge. Oops, and if you, and here you have Scott, right? Is reversed, right? Any kind of list got reversed with this reverse value list. So it's a custom function of mine that I yeah, I give you for free. 
Uh, so custom function, reverse value list, list of value, right? And uh, so this is how it works. It's not that complicated. And of course, I fixed the problem of the double, you know, uh, of the double of the of the end. We have this this carriage return, which is not really a carriage return. That was it was weird. Sometimes, sometimes um, you have something weird happening, you know, in Farmaker. So when so I give you a tip, uh, you know. I'll give you a tip. So if, if you have um, if you have the um, a list like this, right? You have a list, and uh, and and at the end uh, you have this, this, and this, and this. And for unknown reason, at the end, you get a carriage return. So that means you have this, right? You know what I mean? So you have something. Let's say you have this. I know that happens often, right? At the end, you get, you know, uh, you get a, a problem like this. And even though if you have something like this, you know, sometimes it can happen that you get something like this, right? Or... Uh, so you get a list like this, right? Qu quite messy, right? Um, so what you can do here, right, is to do something like this. So you do. So let's let's take care of the first case scenario, where you get at the end, you get a carriage return at the end. Okay. So what you do in that case, you do a substitute on the list. And you search for a double carriage return and you replace by a single carriage return. And at the end, boom, you don't get it. It's not there anymore, right? Because it's looking for a double carriage return. Okay. So uh, so now this is clean because you have this, right? But it can happen that uh, you have or like like my, my case here let's let's say I, I was thinking in the case here at the end right at the end i was getting a a last carriage return but it wasn't really a carriage return okay so if you want to to be specific if you want to be specific or uh, and remove the last carriage return without using the substitutes. Okay, so let's say we have this uh, list one or uh, two. Or let's take my example here. You know, so let's take this example. So let's let's get the custom function. It's a little bit off topic, but you know, uh, since today it's light day and tomorrow too, so our uh, we can go there, we can do that. So let's say I have a list and let's get the window name as an example here, right? Right. So that works well. And you see here, when I select, I get, I don't select all the line. So let me explain. If I use only this, if I do this, you see it goes after estimates, it goes there, boom, see, boom. So if I do my substitutes on this and I look for carry return and I replace by this, at the end, I got this. Even though I don't really have a carry return, but it's... I mean, I have a carriage return without having a value. So I know it's hard to explain, but I have a carriage return even though I don't have a value, right? So that's why doing this, even if, even if I don't do this, it doesn't work. And if I don't do this, right? If I, if I don't do this, I, it gets worse, right? It gets worse. 
if I don't do this, I get only the results and this and this, it get worse. I have two, right? So this system that I told you, clean the first. This will clean the first. But when you do while, when you do stuff like this, you can get at the end, right? At the end, you get something weird like this. That means you don't have a carriage return. I mean, you have a carriage return, but we don't have another value after that, right? So here, I got, if I do this, if I look at this, I have a blank line, right? I have a blank value. That means I have a value, blanks. It's a it's an empty value. I have I have a value empty. So that means I have a carry return here, and here I have another value and another carry return at the end. Okay. So this this here. Oops. This here clean the first. So I don't have an extra line, but at the end here I have this. See this here, and that considered when I do a substitute of this character, it picked the character here. So this is the technique to remove that last or car return. Okay. So here I have my results. Correct. Okay. So I count how many, so how many this, you know, how many values I have here, you know? So how many values I have here? He said three, which is correct, is correct. But if I do a pattern count here and I look for this, he said three, okay? But I don't want free card return. I want two only. Correct? Because look, I want one, two, but I don't want free. That's why I get this extra. I want one, two, but I don't want free. Because at the end here, it counts a card return. So I have my res I have my result here. Okay, I'm at results. And I know how many values I have here, you know, because I have my max count to finish the while function, right? So I know how many I have, you know, I have three, I have three, right? But I want to remove the last car return, okay? So I'm getting the position of the character position in the results, I search for the carry return. I start from the beginning and I want the last occurrence of this carry return. And in my list, in my list, the position of the last character, or the, the, the last position of this, okay? position of this character, the last one, right, is in, is in character number 28. So one, two, three, four, five. So if I count all here, this is the 20th character, right? So now that I have this, I know the position, right? I know the position. I can say, okay, get me the character 28. So that means Let's do this, then you can understand. Right. So I said middle, you know middle. Middle or you know, uh, I can start, for example, if I go results, right? I start with two and I want two character, right? Or this is what I get, CC. Because I start from two, right? So if I said I start from uh, here, for example, for one, two, three, four, 
I start from four and I want two, I have this, OU. If I say I want f four characters, I have this, right? So the middle, you can say, okay, from the text, pick, start from a one character and take as many, as many characters. So here, I say, okay, in the results, start from the beginning and go to the position 28, right? So he's not showing it because it's a, it's a, it's a carriage return. So he's not showing it. So middle, start from eight. Uh, I, I, I mean, oh, no, sorry. Go to the last. I mean, I go here, the position. I look for this. I start from one. And then I said, go to the max count. Okay. Minus one. Okay. Uh, position. Oh, I need to be in the middle. Uh, position, uh, position 28. Minus one position. Okay. Uh, yeah. Minus one. So this here, the middle here, in the results, I start from the from the beginning from the one here. I start from one. I know the position of this will return twenty eight, and I remove one. So that means I ignore the last character right, with this function here, with this calculation. So position on result, I look for this. I start from the beginning and I count as many character, as many position works like pattern count. It's a, it's a pattern count included. For example, let's six them. Who want to know about position in the I audience? Think, I, I think it'd be interesting. Okay. Position has a pattern count embedded. Let me explain. If I say position and I have a list of Nick, oops, if I spell my name correctly, it will be better, and Marge and, and Rick. Okay. I search for the character C. Okay. C. I start from the beginning and I want the first occurrence of the character C is in position three. One, two, and three. Correct? If I want the second occurrence of the characters I of the character C is in position 13 because it's there. Correct? Right? So uh, for all the characters like this, if I look for the character, so the first occurrence of the character, I don't know, uh, K. So the first is four, right? And the second will be 14, right? Because it's here, right? So the position, you can specify a character including including the character return. That, that, that's interesting, you know? Because I can search for a character return, you know, here. See the character return here, right? So I, I know the car return here is in position number five, the first. One, two, three, four, five. It, I cannot see it because, you know, it's in the list, right? You understand? So if I show the list here. One, two, three, four, and five is the car return. See, you can see it here, right? And and the and the N and the M here is in position number six. Let's let us let's uh, check this. The M is in position number six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So if I look for carriage return like this, on the, the second one will be on position number ten. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the third, that means the last one, uh, is, uh, here is not. See? Here I don't have it because the, the a list function is clean. A while function or any type of looping stuff can be, you know. Who has a problem like this with a, a last character like this, a la the last carriage return that was bothering you? Bothering you. Who has this? Who, uh, I ex who has experienced this? <laughs> I have. Uh, okay. All the time, says David Angel. Okay, so now you yep. know. Yep. So you 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 look you, you look for your list or your text or whatever, right? You look for the the carriage return, right? And then the last one, and you get rid of it, right? And the, to get rid of it, right? You do like the position system. So, but first you need to know how many you need to know how many carriage return you have. So to do so, you have many, many ways to know, to know that, right? So you can do something like this. So let's deactivate this for now. So you can do um, value counts on the list, right? But this won't tell you how many character, how many are character return you have, because if I do this, he said two. That's the trick. You see, he said I have two character return, not three. I have three values, but not two character return. That's why the while function was returning a last character return without an extra value. It was very tricky, you know. Uh, I don't know if I can reproduce this, right? Um, not here, here. Because now he said four, because he added a, a value. Do, uh, doing this, I add an extra value, but the carry, you know, the carry return, uh, the, the while function, it was adding like a carriage return without another value. Um, it's really, really tricky thing, you know? But anyway, the best, when you have an extra carriage return is to count how many carriage return you have like this, right? Uh, you know, you count how many value you have, right? And how many pattern count you have, I mean, how many uh, carriage return you have with the pattern count, and then, you know how many you have, and then the position, you say, okay, yeah. Uh, the position is you start from the maximum of this to remove the last one, right? So I don't know if I I was um, clear enough, but it's uh, it can be a tricky business. And I understand that you guys, you, you know, you struggled with, struggled with this. I did, you know, but... Uh, uh, the function here, I can even build a custom function for you to, to, to you know, to remove. So, you know, let's let's do this. Let's build a custom function uh, that can remove this uh, um, position. So how to build a custom function that do that, let's duplicate this, you know, and say, um, and say, um, uh remove um remove last i don't know how to name that i'm not good on naming the function uh remove last return right and i have a list of value so this is what i need and this is what i need to remove right and um, and the max counts are so I need to build a let I need to build a let here and um, in the let er I put the list of value right and then I can say um, 
uh, uh, counts, let's say, let's say, or, you know, count and you say, or patent counts. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the custom function calculation dialogue is a unique, that the old dialogue, remember that? That the old dialogue. So I don't know why they never been there. So counts on this and this. So I'm counting how many patents, how many on the on my list of value, how many carriage do I have, right? And I position to the last position to the last count. Okay. And do this. So this this is done. So I hope it works. So let's copy this and validate this. So so I have a a uh, remove last return function, right? So um, let's validate this. And let's see if it works. So let's say this, I know that will return something wrong, right? I know this one is returning something wrong. I have the extra return, right? If I Patent count on this. This is set three, should have set four, two. Correct? Because one, two are three values, but only two carriage. Done. Normally, I should have two carriage. Done. But here it said uh, it, uh, the while function for I don't know reason add an extra one. Right? So let's see if my remove last return works. Yeah, it works. Now, if I do a patent count on this for this, it will say two. Ha! So the remove last return works. So you have a new extra for free of charge uh, custom function that removes automatically the last carriage return. But that work okay, that works only on carriage return, right? It removes not extra space and stuff like this. You can do that for spaces as well, because I know you, you might encounter this problem too. Do we have any questions about this? Uh, I don't see, well, any, well, there's a question, but uh, Trim wouldn't fix this problem. No. Trim doesn't fix this. It doesn't. It fix trim fix spaces. Not er uh, uh, what's the name? Not the uh, cat return. So tr uh, uh, trim trim will work very well on this. Let's say I have this. Right? So I have an extra. If I do this, I don't have any more. Trim works only on uh, space. That's it. Got and it. three more, uh, th three more is on both sides and something like this. Three more. Um, uh, I don't remember. Three, three more is for Japanese or something like this. I don't remember. Uh, let's go. Let's go check. I read. Uh, I don't. I don't, I don't use trim a lot. Uh, so, uh, but trim, trim is not doing anything for car returns. So, so that's why not trim or. I, I I know I know that three more is uh, three space zero force. I hate those three more works between the hard spaces. Yeah. Uh, is for yeah. So you you can uh three more is to remove the. 
Uh, okay, so you have remove all space between non-Roman or Roman character. Always leave a space between Roman words. Uh, non -ro or Roman characters. Always leave one space between. Okay, so uh, the trim, this trim zero, if I understand what it's doing is this. If I have two here, the three more, and if I put the option, or the because that's a trim space. If I do, or if I do a trim type. Um, so if I do the trim space, so here, see, you have this, and you say zero zero. Right. He remove he leave only one. So you can have this, right? He doing something like this. And it will remove also the one at the end. Right? So that I remembered. I, I, I didn't use that for I don't know 20 years. So sorry, so if I have to refresh my mind, but Trim All is doing this. So he's doing so you have a lot of uh, uh, tree move, remove, remove. So maybe we, this this will remove all. The if I put three on the type, it might remove all the space. Yeah, see, it remove all the space. This will keep one, the zero, you know, the type, right? If you put three, uh, non-Roman, Roman. So here, see, if the zero will remove. Uh, so the type. Include half width space between non-Roman range. So this is for special. Um, and you can play with this a little bit, you know. But you know, I, I gave you the the difference between trim more with trim, or even between if even if I no between words. Yeah, be, only between words. So that's what I was. You know, if you do that, is not trimming. Or uh, maybe if I do, uh, let's say if I do this, if I do free. Yeah, free remove all the space. Uh, one, two, three. So if I put zero here and I put one here, two, three, four. Yeah. So it remove only the uh, between the word. So it removes the extra between the word, but the free remove all the spaces. Correct? All of them. Okay. So, other question? Nope, not at the moment. So you're good. Okay. So, um, so now this here, right? That wasn't working correctly. You know, um, so I can have, I can fix this, and use, and and let, and you know, this was a big mess, right? It was a big, big mess, right? So instead. Let's remove. Let's uh, um, um, what's the uh, what's the name of the rever reverse list of value, right? So this is cleaner, right? So now this will works. Will work. Oh yeah, but I need to. Uh, sorry, I need to substitute the carriage return. So I substitute on this, the carriage return with this. Dunk, space, dunk. So the, the, the calculation, the layout dialog, the layout calculation is helpful for this. See, here's now it's cleaner, right? So I can copy, paste this calc on all the layouts. Right, and um, and we have a nice list of uh, where you are positioned, right? And we have this button here that give you the last, you know, of the window list. I mean, the one just before, right? So you get this. I can try. Transform this in a in a, because you see we, we have a let so we can I can do that you can do a custom function for that too. Making custom function sometimes is helpful when you have something that you you need to repeat something you need to reuse right a calc that you need to reuse right or uh, it can be uh, 
helpful to you know can be helpful to to get it right so for example here in this one Here we have a button and we have a calc, a little bit complex in the button. And uh, we can make it a custom function. I can show you how, how to get a, a calculation custom, uh, custom function, right? So I copy this calc and let's go. First, I go to the data viewer and I make it in the data viewer because we have the new dialog, right? So it's easier, right? So I can remove this and and rebuild the you know this here. So the windows, right? So that my let statement, right? Right. So instead of so you have something like this, right? So uh, you could take the window name and you get the last the you know. So let's uh, do this, right? So, and we can make this to be usable for other things, not just windows, not just window names. So here, how we, how you do that. Um, you create a new function and you say, you, cut, you paste this, but this, so how we can call this function, um, uh, get uh, previous value. Okay, list of values. So we, then we, we keep the name. So you, you put that as a parameter and here you say list. So you say this, the list of value equal the list of value. And then you count the list of value, right? And uh, list of value. Okay, so I get the list of value out of this I count this, even if it's the same name, that works. Uh, you count this, right? And then you get the value. Uh, why count this, by the way? How was my calc? Uh, when you count, I don't need to count. Uh, yeah, I need to I need to analyze this, but anyway, yeah, because it's only only two. Yeah. Yeah, I need to optimize this. I will do that for tomorrow. Okay, let's 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 keep, let's move on. So if if we don't have any questions, uh, I will get that uh, to. But I want to make works on all case. Not only something like works for this case, you understand? So I will get that done tomorrow. I don't want to waste time here. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 So, uh, and but tomorrow I will explain what I've done. So, do we have any questions? Uh, nope. You are good. So, okay. So, I want to talk about a little bit about scripts. Okay. <laughs> so, try to make the demo um, understandable. Okay, so first let's see how this works on 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 the web. Er, uh, let's see how it works on the web. You know what we just did. We talk about script a little bit. We talked about a little bit of design. Uh, so I'm here. So if I click contacts, I go here. Now I am in cont account contacts, right? And then. Um, if I go estimates, I go there, I am in account contact estimates, right? And I don't have the extra character here, right? And if I go back, contacts, back, accounts. Well, that's cool, right? So that works. But let's talk about scripts. Something you need to know uh, on, on WebDirect, everything is performance server everything but a you have two type of scripts on web drag even though a script is performed on server by definition even if you do a script like this a script right 
it will be performed on server. It will, let's say it will be performed by the server. Let's, let, let's talk like this. Nothing will happen on the browser. The script won't be performed on browser. It will be performed by the server, right? But not by the browser. So that means the, the CPU usage won't be done by the by your computer, by your local computer, it, the the load the workload will be done by the server. That's why everything you do on WebDirect needs to be extremely light, extremely light. Otherwise, you will load your server so much, right? That it will crash. That's why you need to have a lot of horsepower when you have a lot of users using WebDirect because everything is done by the server. Even the rendering of the layouts. The rendering of the layout is not done by the, the, the clients, by the browser. It's done by the server. It's done by the server. Uh, the rendering. So pretty much like I, I explained at the beginning, uh, the the layer the, the the server will read the HTML because th this is an HTML page, right? So even on FileMaker, we we use that. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's HTML. So it's CSS, okay? To be to be uh, precise, it's a CSS page, okay? So the CSS is decrypted and re read by the server. And then he sent all the information to the browser like a streaming. It's like a video streaming, okay? But nothing happened on the browser. Everything happened on the server. So if you combine the workload of uh, reading, the, the, reading the, the, the layout, or, uh, uh, you know, performing all the logic, you know, or calculations, or data, or, you know, retrieving the data, related data, relationship. If you combine this with scripts, performing scripts, everything is done by the server. So if you have a lot of people or if you have a, a big scripts, something very complicated, the server will do everything. So that's why you need a big, strong server if you have people. Uh, I know that if you have quite big solution on WebDirect and you have more than 15 people connected, you need a significant server. Otherwise, everything will be super slow and you will say, oh, WebDirect sucks. Yeah, but no. You know, or you know, you know, if you, or you know, if you go to, I don't know, if you go to Amazon.com, they have a entire uh, data center for their web for their servers, because they have a the the world, you know, to carry. So they don't have a you know a two hundred bucks a month server uh, on the on the on their Amazon server. You know, you know what I mean. So of course. You don't need a data center for your solution, but you need a significant server if you want to have something strong and robust. So, do you have any question for that about that? Right, you know, we might have some questions, concerns, comments. We good people. Okay, so the scripts. Something you you maybe you don't know. But scripts, so if I go, oh, if I go here and I, you know this, this is a filter to tell you, to tell you what works, what doesn't work. For example, on server, if I filter this to filter the script step that works only on server, right? Well, 
uh, if I do export field content, it's not working, it's great. This doesn't work on server, right? But does on WebDirect, see? So if I say um, send Apple script or send events, doesn't work on WebDirect, doesn't work, you know, on server, but it works on clients. So if I say, do we have a upper script? Yeah, perform upper scripts on window doesn't work, right? On Macintosh, yes. So this is a filter, right? So if I put on Pharmacal Web Direct and I say perform script on server, it works. So that what the difference between performing script on server and performing scripts normally, right? If what I just said is true, that the script will be performed by the server, but it's performed by the server, not on server. Let me explain. So let's build, let's, let's have a extra table for the test, okay? And, uh, this is my test server, uh, my test table, right? And um, try to be simple enough to make sure that you know you guys understand what I'm what I'm saying. So let's say I'm doing like, or I have an ID, right? So. I have an ID like this, and I have a, a timestamp, okay? For example, right? So I have my table, I have my stuff, and I'm going to do, I'm going to create 1,000 records using perform scripts, right? I'm doing perform script, normal. On, on, the, on the web direct, right? And I'm going to do the same using perform suite on server, okay? If you want to, I don't know why, I have a, a, a strong internet today, so I don't know why. It's having a moment, we have a question. Um, oh, okay. My thinking is that perform script on server will perform where the FMP12 resides. Uh, web direct could be in a different server, Yes. So the, the perform script on server will work where the, the application server is living. So if you have a, 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 a web, you know, web direct, web direct helper server, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the server will, will, will which will execute the server, the script will be the server, the main server, the server, the server where you have um, um, where you have the file and you have the main FMS software. The helper will do all what I told you, the streaming of the layouts, the logic, right? Everything that will that normally is performed by the client. You know, when you when you are in Pharmacal client and you do something like a sort or you do you you have a giant table and a portal where you retrieve a lot of a lot of records, related records, right? Scripts, stuff like this. Normally those stuff are performed, executed, and evaluated by the clients. But on WebDirect, they are not evaluated by the client, they're evaluated by the server. So having a helper server, that means all those tasks that normally belongs, belong to the, to the clients, instead of do, giving the load, the workload to the main server, server, you have an extra server that do that for you. That means you have a help, you have a helper hand, right? That, that, that appoints. And that's why they call that helper, by the way, you know, because it's all those, all this, the tasks that normally belong to the clients, salt, whatever, 
evaluation of calculations, uh, perform script, but script, you know, perform script normal, like create, like create new record or go to layout, all those scripts. Normally the, 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 the workload on doing this are performed by the clients. But because of WebDirect, everything needs to be performed by the server. Having another server will do that, right? So that's why if you do a perform script on server, it will be executed, uh, performed by the main server, right? Normally, like, like a client, like everybody, you know, like every, every file maker will do that, right? So let me continue with this. So uh, let's say I have a small script or don't want to mess up this. So let's say I have a test script here, right? And I'm going to have, I'm going to execute this on WebDirect, right? Um, test. And I'm going to execute this. So I go to layouts. So that's the script. Go to layout test, right? And loop and new record and set fields, oops, timestamp with the current timestamp. Correct? And of course, stop, exit loop if get record number equal thousand okay yeah i i don't like the total found count is, is because you need to count all the records so when the when the record number is thousand stop okay so that that better than the gets Total total record count, right? Is better. So is exit the loop when this. So if I perform this, if I go to the if I go to my here and I put a button here. If you want to let me and I do test and I perform the script normally, OK? Um, let's go and put this. OK, so I have a test button here. So if I go to WebDirect, OK, I'm in WebDirect, right? So I'm a test button here. So this is what happened. Uh, it was a little bit fast, faster than I expected. Uh, it was very fast. Yeah, because it's performed by on server and, and I'm the only one, you, you know, working, you know. So let's um, let's put here our, um, our, the, uh, here we put this and uh, found count. I want to know how many records I have here. Thousand. So I need to I need to create more than thousand. <laughs> um, so uh, let's delete all the records and do it again. Or uh, because I need to show you something, right? So that was too fast. So let's do hundred thousand. Okay. So let's change the scripts. And let's do hundred thousand. That ten thousand hundred thousand. It was too fast. So. Or uh, yeah, I'm stuck here. So I need to go. I need to. I need to put a button that says uh, account. You know, then I can go back to accounts, or I can yeah. Or uh, yeah, it's okay. Or uh, ah, okay. Let's double click on this. Oh, he start again doing this. Why is doing this? So 
this one. Why is doing this? Sometimes it's weird. I don't know. He don't he download or he download this. He download the file. Er, that's super weird though. Um, that's super weird. Has been closed. I cannot go there anymore. Huh. That's. I didn't even realize they could auto download like that. But it doesn't make any sense. Er, let's go Chrome. This server is weirdo, but it's okay. Well, so it's maybe it's my, er, uh, maybe it's my. So let's go to the layouts, web directs in here. Okay, so I'm in my. I don't want this. I, I'm here. And I'm going to do the test, okay? So I'm going to create 100,000 records. So when I do this, this is what I get. Nothing. Okay, this is what I get. Action is running. Please wait while the script is being executed, right? So, so it's creating the records in the back, see? Is creating the record, and here you have this. So you stack the same way if you were running this on the clients. On the client, you will have a spinning wheel, and you don't even have this nice window on 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 server on client. You have a spinning wheel or whatever stuff on window, right? You don't even have this, but here he said action is running. Right. Of course, I can cancel this like this. Right. So I can cancel because I said because I said uh, not record uh, layout well direct because I said here that I can. I didn't say. So let's say. Um, truncate let's let's do a truncate table that means i i i i kill all the the record so if i do um a low to a bolt off and i do it again i don't have oh now i have an error here okay er uh, layout well direct So it's creating the record, see? But I cannot abort. I cannot cancel. I'm stuck. It needs to create all the records, right? So that means when you create, even if the, the script is performed by the server, is not the, the, my computer here, if I go to the, if I go here, activity monitor, you will see that I have no, almost nothing running. Right? See, I'm using Chrome and Chrome is, you know, if I if I sold by the CPU, Zoom is draining everything, but Google's Chrome, you know, or I don't even know where it's Chrome, is not doing anything. You know what I mean? It, the, the the client was wasn't doing anything. So now I have my hundred thousand record here, right? So I can delete all records and um Let's remove this. So, so you see what I mean? Okay. Even if the script is performed by the server, it doesn't mean it's performed on server. That means, you know, pesos. A pesos will look like this. That's why using pesos is good on WebDirect. Because, because I, I, heard, I, I heard many people saying, 
oh yeah okay if the script is run by by the server you know or uh, i don't need i don't need a uh, perform suite on server yeah you need you know uh so here the here why so now i'm doing this right so I remove this so this will be executed by the, i mean will be executed on server right so i'm remove this and i said perform script on on server this and you will see same scripts right so here the count here i click here boom and here i can do whatever i want i can contact i click here so you're free to go you're free to go even on server so if you want to do something like this right so you see the difference it's not because the script is performed by the server that is freeing you. It's not a P source, right? It's a PSBS, perform suite by server, but it's not perform suite on server. Um, did you get, uh, can you, uh, Marge, if everybody understood, or do I need more explanation? Uh people are tracking along say yes if not try again uh to be honest until you started talking to this i didn't realize that you could perform scripts on server without using psos i thought that you had to use psos in order to get the server to pick up the script so now the the, the problem here that's why i want to talk about servers about scripts of course everything cannot be done on server everything cannot be psos right? there's things that must be run or the server, you know, or like you know, normally like a perform script, right? Like uh, go to layouts or create a new record, stuff like this, you know. Uh, but there's many things that can be performed on server, right? And not that means if you want to do, for example, like something like this, go to layouts, create 10,000 records, 100,000 records, and go back to you know, if you want to do something like this, right? If you don't run this on server, well, by the server, but it will stop you. You have this window, you know, or action running window, right? Which is cleaner than the one we have uh, on, on clients. Because in client, we have, we have no Windows saying, oh, perform action running. You don't have. It's better on WebDirect. They did a better job on WebDirect, right? In my opinion, you know? Uh, so, uh, so so that's why, you know, uh, you need to know the difference between this. When you, when you perform a script, a, a script like perform script, it will be run by the server. So you will have the load on the server. The load will be loaded by the server, right? Will be handled by the server. Uh, but you stack on your clients. If you perform script on, on server, you're not stuck, right? And there, and but that being said, you can't, you need to be extremely light on your scripts. Right, you need to be everything. Need to be extremely lean. So we, we come, we come to the lean design. You know, we were talking in 2016. You need to be extremely lean. You need to, you need to remove the impact, the footprints on everything you do. You have no choice than to do that. To be extremely, you know, the, the best as possible on everything. So that's why it's, it's hard to get a nice, performing, great-looking web rack solution because because of all these impediments you have. But it's not because Fanica sucks. It's because you are on server and all the you know all the developer in the world that doing PHP, whatever HTML, whatever you want, uh, JavaScript. All those people they have the same problem. That's why sometimes you go to some you know you go to some uh, website and you, and you say what the heck is these websites? Everything slow. You know like a, you know for example you know, I'm sending money with Western Union sometime. You know the the, the 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 website. This website sucks, but big league. You know because it's so slow. You, you type a character. You, need, you have a screen wheel because you type a character. You type a character, right? I don't know why they do on their website. You know I don't know what problem they have, right? But they have they're running into problem for sure. You know so that's why sometimes you say why it's so slow. Why you know a single task because they have the same problem we do. They are they are they are on web and the web is you need to think completely different. That's why we have this discussion, right? So the layout. I show you the layout. You know at the beginning, right? Uh, we we talk about layout. The layout need to be extremely slow. It's really sleek. You know remove what is not necessary, right? Remove everything. And make it simple, like this, you know, text, text, and that's it. Buttons, but don't display a lot of things. Don't display buttons, don't display delete buttons. When you create something, you need to have a window where you create your stuff and then you have an action to create a record. So all of these things, because you're on the web and you cannot do like we used to do, uh, you know, in our, in, in, in our, um, what's the name, uh, in the, on the clients. Like for example, when you have a portal and you want to create a record, you know, with, uh, with the last record, you know, you know what you know what I mean? Create a, re a related record with the last record or the last row on the, on the portal row. You don't do that on the, on the web. Even if WebDirect will handle this, it works like on the client, but you don't do that on the client, on, on WebDirect. You don't do that on the web because it's not. You will see it's, it doesn't work well. It's, it's, it's not sleek. It's not clean, right? So uh, if you don't have any other questions, uh, tomorrow we, we're going to talk about media. We're going to talk about containers and how to handle a nice looking container management, right? As a document management like this, you know, media management on the um, on WebDrive. Right? Something good looking, good good looking, performing well, because container we cannot do we cannot uh, use them the way we use on clients. You know, they work the same. They will they will, they will handle the, the file the same. You have the same compatibilities and stuff like this. But the UI and the UX needs to be different. So tomorrow we do that. That'll be the last day. That'll be fun. Uh, we got two. We got a comment and then a question. Yep, um, let's do that. Yep. I will do something saying that get found count result is set when the found set is first determined. It's metadata that is cached for later use. That's why it's so much faster than count on a related set. The found uh, result is set when the found set is first determined. 
it's meaning that it's cash for later use. That one is so much faster than count. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no for yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the count the counts. Oh yeah. So the the count here is doing. Uh, okay, the counts are it's working. Um, first of all, the counts on the on the current uh, count record won't work, but on the related you know related record yes, but the counts are we run through all the record one by one, right? So it will say we go to the related records, right, and say okay, uh, it will go one, two, three, four. It will go, it will go, it will go through all. The you know, it will go all the all the records one by one, and we say one plus 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 one, and then it gets you the counts. The found count, yes, the found count is local. Found count works. Er, do you want explanation on this? Or we we can go to the question if you want to go extra five minutes. If you have time out, we can do that. It will be fun. Uh, yeah, we can do the question. Uh, yeah. Is there a way to make a word in a text field bold in WebDirect? Control bo Control B changes the text, but it does not stay bold if you make any changes, or if you go back, the bold is gone. Yeah. Okay. Or uh, I know they've been working on this, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So let's let's try. <laughs> right. Um. Got, is it like an outstanding bug or uh, no it was a, uh, it was a, a, a like uh, like the like a, they say a file maker a design limb <laughs> design limb means you know a design limitation you know when they don't when they don't want to do something or that a design limb <laughs> you know so okay so let's do our like our um text still add Oops. So, er, uh, Nick, and I said bold. Okay. So normally, so that works on here. That works is bold, and here is bold. So it it should work on field as well. So let's um, let's do a fields. Uh, we can show you something like we have a test field. And if you want to make the field automatically automatically bold, right? You do this, the text is self, and this is uh, bold. So now we we have a field because so far it was, you know, so I can even add a color. So let's say we, we can add both, right? We can do a try, we can do a try on the on the on the color as well. So that means that fix it. Before it wasn't possible to get this. This is definitely bold. Or uh, you know, here. Or uh, and uh, so let's let's see if it if, if it works with colors as well. And then we try the, the you know, so our color and text, and let's say I want full uh, green, blue, saving. Yep, it works. So bold and red, so that that works on the on the calc, right? So let's put the field that just created, right? And uh, do that on the field, and let's let's do the same. Or uh, you know, let's put the color as well. This, uh, and uh, two fifty five. Let's put a little bit more of green and blue. So when you do this, when you type something here. Automatically will turn on field doesn't work. See, not on field on calc. Ha! <laughs> See, here doesn't work. So that means so now let's try something else, right? 
here on the CAG on the on the on the, on the on the here it works. So let's let's try something else. Okay, let's try this, which I doubt it will work. So I have a merge field of this. Merge field works, field not. So they half fix it. You know what I mean? So that it works if you merge the fields, but not in the field, which is, yeah, I understand why, you know, to be honest with you. So if you put a field, it won't work. But if you put a, a, a merge field, it will work. And I realized, so now, now we talk about that. And that's why I'm using this all the time on web tracks. Now, now it's coming back. You know, because on uh, here I have a lot of style, right? See, an appearance, so, and it gets stripped the moment you yeah. actually type into a field. <laughs> yeah. So, so the on the field it won't work. All of those are uh, all of those things. Mm -hmm. Formatting, it won't work. But on merge field on calcs that works. Which makes sense, if that, and, and that, okay, that give me the opportunity to talk about a, a little bit about fields. Fields are heavy. Okay, if you dissect an object, you know, I, I, you know, I work on this when they, they, when they rebuild the, what they call design surface. You remember, you remember Marge in Pharmaco 12, design surface. Okay, yes. when they redesign the layout rendering system, right? I worked on this and I'm web right too. Do you know how many objects you have to handle for fields? How many? More, more than 200 objects. <laughs> you have the background, you have the, the text line, you have the, the, the text block, you have the borders, the inner borders, the outer borders. Uh, you know, you have a, a bunch of object to manage for a single field. For a, si a single field is, and I'm not talking about portals. Portals are, wow, you have so <laughs> many objects on a portal. It's so, it's incredible how, what you have. Because you have to take care of this too. Even though, even though, uh, even though you don't show it, it's there. Mm -hmm. On the field, even if you don't, if you don't show it, WebDirect will handle that, and and the client too, the client too, will handle all of those objects. So a field is a complex object because it's not just one object; is two hundred objects, two hundred two hundred components, let's say, for one object, right? Holes, it's nightmare. You know, I don't, I don't even know how they could handle this. You know. The portal, the portal is super complicated, right? Uh, you have the road, the active road, or you know the background, the foreground. The, you know, you know, you know it's, it's a, it's a, you know, it's it's a nightmare, right? But a field is a big object, right? Mm -hmm. That's why you know if 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 I if I want to make this layout perfect, this is not good at all. This. I don't want fields here. I want merge field because, and that that's the reason why, right? right? Or when you do a web direct stuff, don't put fields on your layout. You put fields when you say, when you hear and you say edit. Okay, here you have fields, but I have few, right? I have few. Here, the same, when I do edits, okay, I have those fields, mm -hmm. right? But I have few, so I don't have those and those on the layouts, you understand? You accumulate your fields and you have more fields. When you hear, for example, this is fields, most of it. No, you should use merge field, text. Text is simple. Text has nothing. Text is text, right? A field is a field. It's much more complicated. So if you want to access, to make, if you have, because you say, well, yeah, okay, I have 10 fields. No, you don't have 10 fields. You are much more than this. Look, demonstration. If I have a layout like this, okay, how many fields I have here? A field, you know? 
How many fields I have here? You go objects and you filter this by fields. I have all of those, <laughs> right? You said In that one, field you know. Is like 200 so you said, yeah. So because this is a field, this is a field, this is a field, 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 it's field all over the place, which is not, which is okay with 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 a client, but not on web direct. You know, uh, you know, you need to remove those. Those are those is this is not necessary to be a field. It can be because you don't. You put a field when you need to input to edit data. That's all. Otherwise, that's why, you know, on the main layout, you don't put fields. Never. Just text. And that will accelerate everything, but much, you know, by much, right? So for the found counts, uh, if you want, if you have, if you have some time, uh, it's, it's easy, right? So... Uh, when I'm here, so I go to accounts. So let's clean up a little bit the mess I made here. Oh, I mean, web it, it looks so the same that it, <laughs> uh, estimates. Let's close this and uh, let's go to my web direct accounts and clean up the mess a little bit. And then I'm going to show you the count, the difference between counts and found count. So um, let's clean up the mess. This, this, oh. And um, this and this. Okay. So the found count works only on the local table. So the found count will work here. Get found count. Boom. Eight. Okay. So I have eight record here. Eight record. That's a found count. Even if I go to a big table with a lot of record, boom. Like, uh, I don't know who said that. That's true. It's there. It's stored. You know, I know how many records. It's stored. Permanently, and even even if I go there in the table, I know hundred thousand records, right? So it's stored. When I create a record, boom, it's stored. Each time you create or delete a record, boom, that's stored, right? So that's why get found count is instant, right? Now, if I go here and I want to get the found count on those on the the T zero uh, one I. And I want to know how many records I have. So I do counts, right? T07I is uh, 07. Uh, I no, 01. T01I, right? And I count this. It said 14. But this count is not stored. This count is calculated one by one. So if you have, if you want to count how many records you have on a related table and you have like 1,000 or 100,000, 200,000, half million records and you do counts, okay, be ready for the spinning wheel. You know, <laughs> be, uh, have a cup of coffee. You know, yeah. Get a snack. <laughs> cup of coffee, you know, whatever. A snack, you know. You know, if your father was say, was there, we was saying something dirty, but I'm not saying this. <laughs> um, so <laughs> get to the, get to the jacuzzi with the girls, you know. Uh, but uh, uh, you know, you know, he would have said that. You, you, you agree with me? Yes, yes, he would absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So, so that's a different. Way. So, what you should do, right? You go. You do a PSOS, go to the table, get, find those records, the records related to that account, get the found counts, and get back it to you, get back to, to you the found counts. And then you have, like you say, you know, because if you do something like this, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, like this, and you say, uh, you know, you do something like this, uh, notes, 
like this, right? And and you say notes, and you say and count T zero one A I like this, right? So you can uh not not like, yeah can't name whatever, and then you say and percent, and you close the parentheses. Okay, you want to do something like this, right? Which is okay when you have fourteen records, right? Yeah. So that's okay when you have. Yeah, that that's okay. You have fourteen records. That's okay. But if you have a half million records, bleh, you know, each time you go to the next record, right? You have to calculate this. Oh, it'll recalculate, right? and it won't yes. have the information stored, and then you're. Yes, it's not stored. <laughs> each time you do that, it will calculate. So each time that that's why I have a customer one day. He say, "Oh yeah, when I click here, uh, it takes an hour." So yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you you have because he was using FMSP and he has how many notes, how many contacts, how many estimate, how many invoices, how many projects, how many tasks, and he had thousands, right? So each time he was clicking here, that was recalculated. So what you need to do to get this right is this: you need to have number of notes. It's a number. And then each time you create a note, right, you store it. Do you understand? So you have a you have a trigger, and then we go. I promise you. You know, I'm a good mood. I'm in a good mood. We we play, right? Are you are you enjoying, guys? Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> huh? there's a lot of people here still. So despite the fact that we are 30 minutes past the technical, yeah, time, but you know, so, it's so we have a trigger, and then I have my number. Of note of notes, right? And I let I said let's, and I have my trigger. So I'm I'm defining my the field that triggered this calculation, right? And then uh okay, so the trigger equal this, and then I say okay, give me the count of the T zero one I boom, right? So if you of course, that works if you have the right UI. Always, we, we you know we we always get there, right? Mm -hmm. When you have the right UI, you mm -hmm. know. But it's our uh, we we could we could do like a, a year of web. We we have a ne an extra webinar for design on the side, mm -hmm. you know, because it's never ending. So instead of having this, you know. Note like uh, and having the counts, right? You do something like this. You remove the counts, right? And you point to the number of notes. So each time you create, if you have the right design, right? Each time you create a note, right? And you validate the notes. Right? What do you do? This. You set the field, blah, blah, blah. And then you set set fields. Right? My trigger. Uh, no. Uh, I need to be in the accounts. The trigger. Right? And you put the get uh, timestamp. So each time you have a note, you create a notes, right? And you you say, okay, here are uh, this notes, blah, 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 blah. You create a note, validate. Boom, I have 15 notes. This is hard. This is hard coded, right? That's a field that says 15. It's if I create, yeah, yeah. If I have a note, if I add another note, right? Whatever, validate. Now it will say sixty. Okay. So now, As yeah. Trigger, so the calculation will only yes. run when you're creating the. Data. Now let's say I'm deleting. Right. Well, same thing. See how simple it is when you have the right UI. Always, it's <laughs> the UI will, uh, you know, 
I, I think we should after you guys do you want I come with her I don't know 10 different scenarios right mm. and show you why the why the UI save my butt like this because this you know it's super simple so now now uh, so if I delete the notes I have 16 right delete the notes but right? you know do you want to delete yes 15 <laughs> if I go if I go there you know I edit delete the notes 14 and it's hard coded I mean it's hard is I have a field here with the number of notes you know mm -hmm. Number of notes, forty. It's there, you know. So if I go next, here says zero because you know if I had a note here, you know I validate this. I have a note now. If we said one, right? Mm -hmm. And of course, I want the number of notes, right, to say zero by default, and that's the reason why we have this. Why we can set data and calculated value. Data will come if it's new. So it will say zero. If I create a new record, mm -hmm. it will say zero by default mm -hmm. because of the data auto entry. I have an auto entry data, and I, you know, so if I create a new record here, it will say zero, not ah. blank. So it looks better. <laughs> Looks better, right? But yep. but you know it's it's all it's all flowing. I have no crazy triggers, and you know no 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 no. Just because I have the right UI. So if I create a a, a, a note here, boom. Uh, why I don't have one? Oh yeah, yeah okay yeah. The okay so uh, the data won't work in that case. Of course, you know, Pharmaco want to give me the finger, right? So uh. But uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, Farmaco is not going to win, and um, so this is what you do. Okay, this you you put this. Okay, uh, mm, um, why why is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Do not evaluate. If the field are empty, you 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 remove you remove this, you remove this. It should work. Hello. Yeah, I need to talk to Jacob. Okay, so let's say I'm I'm creating a new cost a new here. Say say zero, and if I said other notes, right, it will say one. You don't, it doesn't work. Okay, so I have no idea why is something different. Something to or... fix about it. Uh... No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know because I didn't do anything different here. Uh, trigger, I don't know. But anyway, oh, my bad, guys. Uh, you know, I don't have a name. I didn't put a name. I need a name. Uh, actually yeah, test. yeah, I need a name. Test. Uh, that's why when I when you create a notes that no names it it won't count. Yeah, it works. Boom. I see that. It's like beefy. Yeah, because this one is uh I don't have name on this one, or I should have because that's why we never that's why we never count on names. You know the the this is wrong. So let's fix this and then we go. Or uh, we never count on names because if the name is empty, you need to count on something that you sure to have, like an ID, because ID the ID or accounts or or account ID something like this, uh, account ID. Uh, where's the account ID? I don't have an ID, an ID account. Content contact. Maybe this one. Okay. Okay. So I have an. If you count on. On an ID, even if you don't have a name, it will count. Okay, look, uh, because you need to count on something that exists. If it, it won't count the, the the thing that is empty, right? So it won't count it. So bum, 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 bum. so if if I create a new record here, it will say zero, and if I click here uh, and I validate this, it will say one. 
Well, and if I click another one, it will say two, etc. So okay. Uh, anyway, fixed. Okay, so I think we good we to go. Good. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, people are saying thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, this has been yeah, very well, what, uh, I learned okay, a lot. Okay. So. Okay, cool. So thank you. And uh, see you okay. tomorrow for the... For yes, the we're going to be Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. We will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.